Let's talk about the bassoon. The bassoon is a member of the woodwind section in the modern orchestra. It has a total range of B-flat 1 to F5, or the B-flat just below low C, to the F at the top of the treble clef. This range is traditionally broken down into three distinct registers. The low register spans from approximately B-flat 1 to F2, and has a general dynamic range of mezzo piano to fortissimo, or somewhat quiet to very loud. It has a thick and heavy personality that makes it a solid choice for performing strong bass lines and dark melodies. The middle register spans approximately F sharp 2 to B flat 3, and has a general dynamic range of pianissimo to fortissimo, or very quiet to very loud. This register has a much more expressive, warm, and chameleon-like quality. I say chameleon because it can blend pretty well with just about any instrument you need it to, and it can deliver just about any type of emotional performance that you could need. It's one of the rare all-arounders found in the orchestra. Finally, the upper register spans the remainder of the instrument's range and has a general dynamic range of pianissimo to forte, or very soft to loud. These notes possess a lyrical and increasingly pale sound quality. It's not quite as versatile as the instrument's middle register, but these notes can still deliver a particularly emotional and tense performance. Naturally, none of these registers have a hard starting or stopping point. They all tend to blend into each other on a spectrum, and the deeper you move into any of the three, the more pronounced its personality will become. The bassoon is an incredibly versatile instrument and can be used to perform bass lines, melodies, or accompanimental material. However, it's not as agile as the flutes and clarinets, and won't typically work with fast runs or ostinati but it will often be used to perform simplified variations of these lines that help to emphasize the most important notes and beats. All in all, it's a beautiful instrument with tons of potential, so try using it in your next arrangement. I hope you found this helpful. Until next time, keep studying, keep working hard, and keep writing new music.